Welcome to South Coast AQMD On The Air's Governing Board Meeting Highlights for December 2015th and January 2016. In this episode, the Governing Board approves an urgent purchase of special air monitoring equipment to help protect the community surrounding the recent gas storage leak near Porter Ranch in Northridge, moves to address the single most important air pollution reducing measure for the upcoming air quality management plan, and Two longtime governing board members stepping down after many years of dedicated service. The South Coast Air Quality Management District is the air pollution control agency for all of Orange County and the urban portions of Los Angeles, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. Home to almost 17 million people, this is the second most populated urban area in the United States and one of the smoggiest. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this special message. I spent 60 years of my life with the heavyweight champion of the world. Everywhere he went, everybody wanted to touch him and talk to him. While the president of the United States or the president of Russia was trying to get his attention, he was picking up a baby or a young person and talking to them and empathizing with them. That's what made him a great champion. Environmental justice is the same exact thing. You have to take care of the people who don't have the power to take care of themselves. Because if you don't do that, you're not really on a life mission that is worthwhile. It was recently discovered that a well used to access an underground natural gas storage reservoir operated by the Southern California Gas Company at their Aliso Canyon facility near Porter Ranch in Northridge was significantly leaking gas into the air. It was first thought that the gas leak would only last a few days or weeks at the most. However, despite several attempts by SoCal Gas to stop the leak, natural gas is continuing to leak from an underground reservoir and has caused concern from residents of nearby communities. Because of the urgent nature of the situation, the board authorized the immediate purchase of special air monitoring equipment for measuring methane, a major part of natural gas, as well as other chemicals that may be in the air. South Coast AQMD has placed the new air monitoring equipment in trailers at two separate locations, the first at a Los Angeles Unified School District property and the second in the Porter Ranch community near the Aliso Canyon facility site, as well as a third location at Castle Bay Lane Charter School. This equipment will continuously measure methane and other chemicals such as benzene, as well as hydrogen sulfide, a rotten egg smelling gas. When high concentrations are found, samples are automatically collected and brought to South Coast AQMD's lab for detailed analysis. Separate 24-hour samples are also collected and sent in to be analyzed. In addition, a mobile unit with the latest technology measures methane in the air and provides real-time information as it travels throughout the surrounding communities. You can find results from the analysis of all air monitoring activities related to this incident at aqmd.gov. For reducing pollution from large factories, refineries, and power plants, some with many pieces of equipment, was developed in 1993 by the South Coast AQMD. The Regional Clean Air Incentives Market, or RECLAIM, took a look at the total amount of pollution that large facilities with permitted equipment would be putting out on a yearly basis using the Command and Control Rule and Regulation Permit System. Rather than specifically tell them how to run their equipment, Reclaim just gives them a pollution limit for their whole facility. As pollution is reduced for factories under the command and control permit system, the pollution limit for Reclaim facilities shrinks to match. Reclaim gives these large facilities the flexibility to adjust their operations as needed to stay within these lowering limits. So, Reclaim facilities are given an allowance to get ongoing yearly credits for that amount. If a facility had more credits than it needed for the year because maybe they replaced or upgraded their old equipment with the newest, cleanest available technology that pollutes less, then they could sell that year's extra credits to other facilities that either wanted to expand their operations or buy credits if it is less expensive than upgrading to the latest air pollution control equipment. 
Every once in a while, the entire program is reviewed to figure out how much pollution would be reduced if the latest and most efficient pollution control equipment was put into use at all reclaimed facilities. That way, the overall allowed amount of pollution can be reduced. This is called a shave. So at the December board meeting, South Coast AQMD staff proposed to reduce or shave the overall allowance of reclaimed credits for oxides of nitrogen or NOx, which comes from burning fuel, and provide an option to electric generating plants to get out of the reclaim program and back into the regular permit system if they already have the best available air pollution control equipment. Representatives from industry were concerned that the shave was too much of a reduction and that 12 tons per day more slowly phased in over a seven-year schedule so that the bigger reductions came later would have much less of a negative financial impact on the businesses and would still meet overall air quality goals. They were also concerned about a proposal to delete credits once a facility permanently shuts down equipment. However, there was support for providing an option to electric power plants to get out of the reclaim program and back into the regular rule system if they already have the best available air pollution control equipment. Environmental groups and residents alike supported South Coast AQMD staff's proposal, with some calling for stricter standards and more use of solar and other renewable power generation as well as promoting more zero pollution transportation. So, in light of testimony from the industry and the public, as well as input from its members, the Governing Board adopted a 12 tons per day reduction in oxides of nitrogen pollution credits issued to reclaim facilities more slowly phased in over the seven-year period, so that the bigger reductions come later and provide an option to electric generating plants to get out of the reclaim program and back into the regular permit system if they already have the best available air pollution control equipment. And added direction to staff to return to the Knox Reclaim Working Group to continue looking at how to handle credits from facilities that have or are about to shut down and return to the board as soon as possible. This scheduled 12 ton pollution reduction is another major step in achieving clean air standards in our region. At the January 2016 meeting, two longtime governing board members were honored during their final meeting as they will be stepping down after many years of dedicated service. Santa Ana Mayor Miguel Polito has served as the Cities of Orange County representative since March 2005. Mayor Polito will be replaced by Lake Forest City Council member Dwight Robinson. Chino Mayor Dennis Yates has served as the Cities of San Bernardino County representative since February 2004 and has been the South Coast AQMD Board's Vice Chairman since September 2009. Mayor Yates will be replaced by Highland Mayor Larry McAllen. Thank you Mayors Polito and Yates for your outstanding service and dedication towards achieving clean air in our region. South Coast AQMD's Governing Board usually meets at their Diamond Bar headquarters on the first Friday of each month except August. Our job at South Coast AQMD is to find out where air pollution is coming from, figure out ways to reduce it, and then work together with businesses, lawmakers, scientists, and the community so that we can all have clean, healthy air to breathe. And all this work is under the leadership of a 13-member governing board. Three of the board members are appointed by state elected officials, one by the Governor of California, one by the State Assembly, and one by the State Senate. There are four county supervisors representing Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. Six are local city council members representing the cities in each county. You are always welcome to join us and participate or follow the meeting as it is live streamed online at our YouTube channel, South Coast AQMD and AQMD.gov. Past meetings, agendas, and information on each item can also be found on our website. We encourage you to get connected to South Coast AQMD. Check out our apps for smartphones and iPads. We have a bi-monthly publication called the Digital Advisor that can be read online or on our interactive iPad app that you can download from the App Store. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Visit us at aqmd.gov to learn how you can help us clean the air that we breathe.